All right, hello, welcome to Payday. I think we've done this one before, actually. Just the first thing. Doing art gallery, this feels very familiar. I think we may have done it before. I'm honestly not sure. Um, but yeah, no, I was just looking at the contracts and it was like, you can buy this one for 80,000 in your offshore account, which is literally nothing to my offshore account. I was like, yeah, yeah, screw it, why not? I thought it might be something interesting and new, but I don't think it's new. Hmm. Now we're going to try and figure a way to sneak in penis. I'm fine. There's a slightly spook security guard, but it's fine. No one was alerted. Is there like a way I can sneakily sneak myself in without being noticed and then take out the security card and gonna drop myself down this is gonna kill me isn't it that might have been the stupidest idea i could have ever thought of hey let's just jump down into this building from the roof that's a great idea well done right so this is like doing it again okay that makes sense How do we sneak our way in? That's the question. How do I sneak myself into this building without being spotted? Jumping in was not the right idea. And I don't know why I ever thought, hey, this is... I don't know why I didn't stop to think, hey, this is not the right way to do it. Because that was obviously never going to fucking work. The way I could do it... Uh, no, no, no. I was going to think I could drop on top of the ledge there and drop myself down, but I'm not sure if that would work. You know, I could open, I open that up and drop myself in on the ledge. Like, so, and I'm in. I just now need to be subtle. Yeah, subtlety may be not the strongest thing by walking into view of a camera. Yeah, that's... Oh, penis. I need to answer that. Ah, sorry, I was answering his pager. I think I might have. I think I might need to give this up. I'm pretty sure I've just been detected. Yep. Okay. I feel like this is the easier way of doing it. Just accept the fate of um, having to drill into something for three minutes. I mean, everything's shut down. It's all locked. So we can just appreciate some art. Kind of like that. That one, not as much. It's all right. Um, that one I like. That looks like it could be like a, like a movie poster of some sort, you know? That one's kind of cool. That's okay. Yeah, that one's alright. I'm appreciating art. That one I quite like. We've already seen that one. That one's alright. We've already seen that one. Uh, that one's quite good. I like that one. I like that one. That one's okay. That one's pretty cool. Ah, oh, piss my drill. I was appreciating art. And my drill decides to break down on me. What a bitch. 
You bitch. Come on, just work. Look at this man. He is dead. I just shot a dead man in the face. Do I feel good about that? Not at all. Uh, did it happen? Yes, undeniably. Oh, we've got more stuff to look at. We've seen that one. That one, eh, it's alright. That one we've seen. I think we've seen all of them now. Oh, I really like that one. That one's really cool. And that sort of traditional Japanese style. I really like that style. That one's cool. That one, eh, it's not bad. So, how's it going? My drill's broken again. Funky. They said the SWAT teams are coming into the building. I think the SWAT team are stuck outside. I think we're just locked in here. If only we had something that could cut the barriers. We could cut these. We could steal the stuff and then just like somehow get out the ceiling and then leave without having to deal with anyone. At least it's all in progress. Are they going to finally turn up now? Or is this... Are they still locked out? Because I think they're locked behind this. Where you at them pussies? Or you? Shush. How long we got left? Like two minutes? 71 seconds. Oh my god. Oh, good thing I got there at the time I did. Because otherwise I wouldn't have been able to uh, restart it instantly. There we go, 70 seconds. Can I jump on top of the drill? No, can I get underneath it? No. You need a key card, I don't have a key card. They're blowing the wall. Ooh, kinky. <laughs> That's the worst joke I've ever made. Oh my God, that is awful. That is... <laughs> That was truly, truly atrocious as a joke. <laughs> oh my god. That joke was so bad I just have to kill people because of it. In game. In game only. Don't kill people in real life. That's bad. Also very illegal. Like you will, you will get major imprisonments for, you know, killing people in real life. Just don't do that. Kill people in video games, not in real life. Uh, expert advice. Electrifies expert advice. There needs to be something beginning with E that's a synonym for advice, and that will be perfect. Um, if there is, don't know what it is. The synonym for advice that begins with an E. Oh, 300 seconds. Pissing hell. Oh yeah, I've broken these cameras. Uh, how do I exit? Oh, space. Um, you guys shoot them. I'm gonna real quick just tab out and Google a synonym for advice. Begins with E. I'm literally going on thesaurus.com. <laughs> uh, um... That's advise, not advice. Can I spell, please? Um, encouragement is the only thing that it's got, but uh, no, nah, not really. I got that actually fully just continued while I was doing that. That was like 30 seconds. Oh my god, my game has gotten really washed out from doing that. Like the colors, I think it might just be my monitor, because looking at it on my other monitor, it looks okay. I know. Oh my god, what happened there? Um, I don't know what it is. I run a program that changes the uh, color balance depending on what time it is. That stopped running on the one monitor that I'm playing Payday on. And it's still running on the other one. So everything looks really white because I'm just getting the white light on my screen rather than the yellow light because it's at night and yellow light is better for your eyes at night rather than white light or blue light. Um, so... Seriously, if you use your PC late at night, get a piece of software like that. It is, I use Flux, honestly, it saves me so much eye strain, like really. This is just now an advice session. I, like, I was 
I wasn't sure at first, and I was like, I'll just try it out for like a week. Um, and it's been years, and I've still not turned back. It is honestly one of the best things I've ever installed on my PC, completely free. It's incredible. It's honestly one of the best installs I've ever put on my PC. Free, like, you don't notice it's there for performance, like, at all. Like, I ran this on my old PC that could barely, that could barely run anything. Like, my old PC that could run Smite in 30 FPS at the, like, second lowest graphic settings. I think, I think it was mid graphic settings I had Smite on. And that could only run it at 30 FPS max. Didn't hinder the performance of that. I turned it off, the performance was the exact same. Like, it does not take any performance and it is, it is so good. So yeah, that's my expert advice is if you can, if you're using a PC, install it. One of my greatest installs of all time. Okay, that hurt my eyes. That explosion, that really hurt my eyes, I'm not going to lie. I want to steal this one as well. I like it. Honestly, forgotten where I was. Uh, I was literally just following the bodies to find out where I, where I was hacking that PC. Because that was the only way I was going to find it. How long it left? Ninety seconds, minute and a half. Ooh. Oh my god. You just phased through the wall partly. Excuse me, sir. Do you mind? I will shank you. Brown Croydoning him. That's not okay to say. I'm sorry. Come on. I need to stop making the knife crime jokes. These are my favourite artists. That's um, the dude from Meshuggah, isn't it? Forgotten his name. Is it Jens, his name? Yeah, still not done. How long? 30 seconds. Doomweaver, Ritual Abuse. I would listen to Doomweaver, Ritual Abuse and Doomweaver Sludge Factor. Look at this guy up in the fucking thing. He's terrifying me. I'll listen to Doom Weaver. Why not? Bam. Shank. Shank. Yay! The coffee mug explodes when I shoot it. The coffee machine itself, however. That's, um... The coffee machine itself is, is bulletproof. Because... That's what every art museum needs, is a bulletproof coffee machine. You penis. I was about to go out the front. All the way around here. Oh yeah, I remember doing this before. This is the same as the one I've done before. Well, it's like the same principle, but it's I think it's... It's meant to be different than what I've done before. I don't know. Either way, I'm enjoying myself. And that's what matters most. As long as we're all having fun. And that was worth 15 grand. I should get into paintings, man. Because if I can sell one for 15 grand, mate. Oh, I feel good about myself. No, I know that a lot of art takes a lot of skill and, you know... And it's very difficult to do, and that, you know, make, making it seem very menial like that is, is not the right thing to do. When it's art like this. Some art is shit. The art that I'll always harp back to as being shit is modern art. Modern art is the most pretentious bullshit I have ever fucking witnessed. Remember the fucking banana taped to the wall that was worth 10,000 that some dude just fucking ate? I fucking love that dude. Who was just like, I'm hungry, I want to eat this banana that's taped to the wall. And just fucking did it. And ate a 10,000 fucking pound or dollar or whatever currency it was in, euro maybe, I don't know. 
a piece of artwork worth 10,000 of whatever currency it was. What a fucking icon. Honestly. Because that is pretentious bullshit. It's a banana taped to a wall with fucking duct tape. To be fair, at least they use duct tape, the best type of tape. But still, that sort of stuff I hate because it's just pretentious tax evasion bullshit. And you may be wondering, like, tax evasion? How is it tax evasion? Look it up. Like, do a Google search of... There's a... There's a really good post about it. I, I can't remember if it was like a Twitter post or a Tumblr post or something, or one of those websites. Not a Facebook post is what I'm getting at. Maybe, like, Reddit or Instagram or something like that. Where someone went through it and explained why... Uh, why someone buying like art for crazy amounts when it's just pretentious bullshit art like the banana on the wall like you remember that piece of paper that was just had rips in it and that was the art it was literally a piece of paper with like three slices in it from a knife and they were like yep this is art that is like someone explain i mean i don't know if this is truly what it is or if this is just a like little conspiracy theory but it's just a way to commit tax evasion because if the person buys the art they then don't have to pay tax on that income it's really confusing and I don't really understand it but I like labeling things as tax evasion because it's funny to be like haha that is tax evasion even if I don't know what I'm talking about because fuck the tax man but rich people should pay taxes <laughs> I feel like if you commit some bullshit tax evasion scam you should be sent to the gulag is that a controversial opinion probably do i want to rescind my statement no gulag send them gulag send rich people to the gulag that's not an opinion i actually hold i want to clarify that i'm being very sarcastic in this video i don't actually want to send people to gulags haha caught you out mr shield man fuck your life you guys seen that fucking video from coney island the guy's like fuck your life bing bong that lives rent free in my head That guy saying, fuck your life, bing bong, truly does live rent free in my head. In the best way possible. <laughs> Honestly, I just can't stop fucking thinking about it. I'll just walk around just randomly go, fuck your life, bing bong. I, I, bro, I don't believe New York is a real place. Honestly, well, not like that it doesn't exist. I believe it exists, but I believe it's just a simulation gone rogue. This is my crazy conspiracy theory. New York is just a simulation gone rogue. Because I swear, every time I see anything out of New York, it's never fucking normal. It's just, it's the maddest shit. Have you ever seen a video on social media coming from New York that isn't just absolutely fucked up weird? You have not. Everything that comes out of New York is fucking insane. There was a video I saw a few years ago where some dude was like, only in the Bronx you're going to see some shit like this. And it was a dude just fucking walking into a shop with a raccoon around his neck. And I'm like, how the fuck is this not like a simulation? Like this place is not real. Like the rest of the fucking world is real. I'll see if there's any other paintings to steal. Um, there is, I'll take them. But yeah, I don't believe New York is the same fucking planet as like most other cities on earth i think america itself is a simulation and new york is the simulation going wrong because that country it, i refuse to believe that country is like part of the same planet as somewhere like fucking norway like they just cannot be the same planet Like, the USA and Switzerland, I physically refuse to believe, are the same planet. They're j it's just not true. 
it's a fucking simulation. We know how everyone's like got the all oh, the universe is a simulation theories. Nah, it's just America. That itself is a simulation. This may be a slightly over exaggerated conspiracy theory. I don't actually believe this, but you fucking imagine if it turned out that that was right and that I predicted it in a video playing Payday 2. That would be fucking crazy. Haha. Uh -huh. Wouldn't that be crazy? Definitely not implying that it is real and I am right and that I have information that no one else does. I actually don't. I wish I did. I wish I could tell you that America was actually a simulation and wasn't real. But who fucking knows, you know? It's not. Realistically, it's not a simulation. It would be fucking crazy if it was, right? I don't know how many more paintings there are to steal. I don't know how many I've stolen. I don't even know which halls I've stolen from. I've just sort of been... I've not been concentrating on the game that much, I'm not gonna lie. I've been chatting pure fucking wass instead. I've been an absolute waffler instead. But it's fun. I'll still try and steal a few more, because why the fuck not? Um, but yeah, I've just been chatting pure waffle. But I've been having fun. It is fun to just chat pure waffle sometimes. You should try it sometime if you haven't. Just chat pure shit for a bit. Um, chat pure shit uploaded to the internet. That's what I do. Every day. <laughs> but my daily routine is just chatting nonsense and uploading it to the internet. How fucking crazy is that, dude? How fucking sick is that, dude? Can I jump out that hole? No. I think I've gotten them all now. I think, yeah, I think I've got every single one that I can get. I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is the last one. Cool. We'll steal this and then we will go. Escape is available. Oh, no, I didn't mean to throw that on the ground. No, piss off. It's my painting. Yeah, throw that. I don't even know what that does. It's like a grenade, isn't it? Yes. Literally is a grenade. Run, run, run. Throw the painting in the van and then stand here. Hooray. Nice. That was fun. I enjoyed doing that again. That was, that was good, and a good uh, earning. So our contract pay only 30k, but then 315 for um, the other stuff. And then getting some XP from it. Level 55 at the moment. That was not very much XP. What are we going with? What are we saying? Front, middle, front. I meant left. Left, middle, or right. I'm going to go... Um, uh, you know what? I'm gonna get Google to pick a random number between 1 and 3 and go with that one. Uh, pick a random number between 1 and 3. It picks me... Oh my god, Google, you don't have that. It picks me... Come on, let's roll it. It picks me 1, so we're going with the left one. Alright, that took way longer than it needed to. What are we getting? Oh, we would have got cool stuff on the on the middle, alright. We better get something cool here. Oh, we do get something cool here. Alright, I'll take that. That's pretty neat. I do like a nice uh, weapon camo. Anyway, that was fun. I do enjoy playing Payday 2. It's a very fun game. I do love a bit of Payday 2. And I hope you enjoy watching me play Payday 2. Anyway... Thank you very much for watching and I will catch you later.